Okay, welcome to the intro solo of Acoustic Songs to Learn, Part 1, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. This is a great solo that has a lot of simple but interesting and really brilliant uses of bends, slides, and double stops. I'll teach you how to play the solo, and then at the end of this video, I'll play the chord progression at half speed and then full speed so that you can practice the solo along with the chords. For this solo, I'm going to break up each part into little digestible bits instead of throwing it all at you at once. The first little chunk of uh, phrase that we're going to go over is this right here. So what you're going to do to play this is start off with your middle finger on the second fret of the G string here, so you should sound this note. Then we're going to slide up. We'll start out here, then hit it then slide. The next note after that is third fret. Use your first finger. So you have the B string right there. So I'm going to slide up, third fret B string. Then we're going to play with our middle finger, two frets up. So what we have so far is Alright, the next part that we're going to add to that is this right here. All these need to be pull-offs, so we're not picking it, even though that's the notes we're playing. But we're going to do pull-offs, so what you need to do is just kind of cock your hand to the side, pull it in, squeeze tight, and then roll your finger off. Don't lift up like this. That's not a pull-off. You're not going to get a good sound with that. So what you want to do actually is pu actually pull like this off of it. So it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like striking the string twice. So what we want is So if we tie those two together, it's like this. And the next bit after that you start off on the first fret of the A string, and you just slide up to this, just slide up one fret over like this. And then you hit the next string above it, the D twice, so you get. So from the last lick, we got, it's gonna sound like this. So when we put that all together, but you want to make sure that you take your finger off of this note here when you strike that next string so that it's not still sounding. You don't want to do this because then both notes are still playing. So slide up, take your finger off when you play that next note. And you can even move your thumb over like I do just to mute it. So the next part's going to be pretty challenging for you because you need to slide up from the E and the B string up to the fifth fret so you get this. Now it's a pretty quick slide. You're not going to go, you're going to slide up pretty fast at that speed. So you're going to slide up and then down. And just make sure you strike the strings each time that you're doing it. You might uh, be tempted to use your fingers like this to slide. But I recommend keeping your two middle fingers here because of what comes next. You have to play this double stop here, which is your first finger on the second fret of the G string. And then your second finger on the third fret of the B string. So you get this. And what's happening with this is the same kind of slide. So what you get is, but we're also adding a pull off to this, that right there. So you get a slide up. So we got this right here. When you put it both together, And then we're going to slide up one more time and then back down 
while hammering off and striking it again. So here's just this part right here, slow motion. And then you hit it one more time. So when we put it all together, it sounds like this. So the next little segment we're going to go over sounds like this. So you're going to slide up from this note here, two frets over to this note, and then do a pre-bend. That's where you bend up. So you're already at like a half step up or so, and you're gonna bend down and then pull off there. Then after that, you're gonna go bend down, pull off, play the note below it, then up here, then back down, and then back down to the second fret. So all that together slow sounds like this. The next part after that is just a bend up here on the fourth fret of the G string, and then you're going to play these two notes after that. So you have third fret and the fifth fret, and then back to this spot, bend up. So this is what it sounds like. So when we put that to get those two parts together, and then the last part is another slide up. So we're kind of working with the same bends here. So you want to slide up, then bend up, and then down, then ha pull off, and hit that note, and then come back to here to hit that A. And then bend up from two frets over, and then to back down to the note, and then end on the A. So what we get is you're bending up and then come back down, then strike the note, pull off, then strike it again, then hit it here, and then bend up. So running that back through, So I'm going to run through the whole solo and I'm going to go slower at a slower tempo. Here's the solo at normal speed.
Just a real quick reminder, if you want more videos like this, make sure to comment on this video, like it, and subscribe to the Seeds of Music channel. Also check out the link in the description box below to get your free guitar chords chart and a guide on building your musical talents. Okay, I'm gonna play it at half speed. You need to come in on the solo right after. Now we're going to play it full speed. Two, three. That's that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, and also grab your free guitar ports chart and guide. See you in the next video.